we going to we going to attack this right there where there's blood in the street. You know, we know what happened with Michigan State right there and everything last year. But this Illinois team has been phenomenal, guys. If you're not watching Illinois and you're not paying attention, that's your fault because uh, Illinois has do, been doing a great uh, basically like post style offense and they've been uh, getting me to the window with the unders and some wins on their side too. So let's jump into our um, let's jump into a share screen. And uh, Noli, you want to take first shot at this, or you want me to you want me to go over what I got? Whatever you like, man. I'm just the uh, I'm just the protege. I'm you know I'm learning here, taking. Uh, notes. Well, I, I'm gonna let you I'm gonna let you go ahead and uh and and take flight on it right now, okay. and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the um. I'm going to bring up the, the, the covers so we can uh, look at some numbers. Uh, you know, I, I'm going to tell you guys, usually I'm, I'm 100% uh, prepared for the show. I have one game that I thoroughly capped. But all the rest, I'm capping them right here with y'all today. We're going over this. Um, pretty much nothing's going to be too official unless I say so. But uh, we're going through some some terms and some, some, some numbers and stuff with y'all today, okay? So... Enjoy this trip. I've done this before when I did the show uh, by myself before, and uh, it, it was really great. We had a good time doing that one, so we're going to keep it rolling today. First up, we're going to go into this uh, into this, into this this Michigan State game right here. Let me scroll on down to the numbers. Noli, go ahead and give them a briefing of where you at with this game right here, and then we'll pull up some numbers, and, and we'll double-check them and dot some I's and cross some T's. Yeah, I mean, you talked about it a little bit, you know, had those issues against Michigan in the, the tunnel there, about eight guys getting suspended. There was the additional four getting suspended today. So, I mean, how's that locker room? This is a team that had really high expectations going into the season. Here they are really sputtering as of late. And so how is this team going to respond? I mean, not going to be expecting much of anything going against a tough Tough Illinois team. You talked about it. They're number one in the country in points allowed, 10 points allowed versus FBS teams. And uh, really a team that's really been putting it on their opponents all season long. A team that likes to run the ball quite a bit. They rank seventh in the nation in rush attempts per game, 46.7 rush attempts per game. So they're they really just grind it out, like you mentioned, and so it's going to equate to a lot of unders. Five and two, to, five and two to the under on the season, covering the number by an average of ten point one points. I was on the last game with them against Nebraska, and the same thing. Really, was very stingy. Only allowed sixty two yards rushing, and uh, only nine points that they allowed, right about their average there. And Michigan State, a team that's really struggled to stay on the field, one hundred thirteenth and third down conversion rate. They only run 62 plays a game, and they run a high pace. They, they're seconds per play. They're ranked they're high, like 25th. But plays per game, only 62.3 because they just can't stay on the field. So I think they got a tough ass here going against Illinois on the road. And um, I just – it's hard for me to try to back Michigan State. I think you got to try to lay the points with Illinois. But more so, I mean, the total is sitting there looking at you. Illinois likes to run the ball. Uh, that's what they do. They they're very low. They they average under 200 yards passing a game. Very low in college football, about 190. So a team that's going to run the clock and and control the ball. They they I think they control about 60 percent time possession. So that's one of the highest in the nation as well. So you know what they want to do? Grind it out. I like the under. There's no reason why not to. I mean, I I, I definitely was attracted to this game by the under as well. Um, like you said, uh, two and five to the under for Illinois, and uh, also three and five to the under for Michigan State right here. Michigan State also zero and three on the road. That could play a big factor on the side. And Illinois is five and zero at home. So I think we have a, a two-headed monster right here, where um, due to both teams really going under, including. Um, you know, the drama that's been displayed from last week. I don't see many Michigan State fans, I mean, players getting up to um, come to this game to do anything different or anything like that. And uh, Brett Malima over here, coach of Illinois, he runs a post-out offense. He's never in a rush to do nothing exciting or crazy. He wins off of persistence and doing things right. 
And I think that's what he's going to do here. And when I mean when I said we're looking at a two-eyed monster right here because we got action on the under, and we also got action on the side. It's uh, 17 points right now. It started at, uh, I believe, 15 and a half. And, you know, if you take away some of the drama that happened last week, it might have went down maybe even a little more than that, maybe 10, somewhere up in there. But they were going to be a big favorite over this team anyhow, just you know, from their performance anyhow. So um, this is a spot where I say, hey, go ahead and and, and play the under as a, as, as a concrete bet, you know, putting putting all your numbers together and standing by them, but also play uh, the side as well just for a great opportunity for a team to come in and grab an awesome win over this Michigan State team that's down right here. You got anything else on this one? Uh, no, I mean, you mentioned it right there. Laying the points, double-digit numbers, and a total under 50, it just correlates. You look at both of their teams, the results last week, you would have hit. You know, Michigan State losing 26 to 9, the same similar numbers over here for Illinois. So it just seems to correlate for some reason, but I like the under a little bit more myself. I see the game um, at best. 29-10, Illinois, we slide out of that under. Of course, we got to slide out of this under because, you know, books have already set it pretty low. I don't think we'll get a 17-7 or nothing crazy like that. They're definitely going to cover by the double digits. Just all a matter of how many times Michigan State can get in that end zone. And Michigan State's been struggling getting the end zone all year. So that's no uh, biggie to me. But let's go on and jump into the next one, man. We're going to keep this show rolling today. 